Hey everyone, it's Miss Joyce. Today we'll be dividing two digit by one digit whole numbers. Let's start with 42 divided by two. First, let's rewrite this division equation using base 10 blocks. Let's start with number 42. In this number 42, there are four tens and two ones. So we've drawn four rods and two unit cubes to represent the number 42. We're dividing by two, so we're gonna draw two groups. We're gonna be sharing these rods and these unit cubes evenly between these two groups. Before we do that, let's also write the standard algorithm so we can do that at the same time. So to write this as a standard algorithm, what we're gonna do is draw this division symbol here. On the inside is gonna go our dividend, which is the starting number in our division equation. So since 42 is the start, that's the total amount that we're splitting up, that's gonna go on the inside. Two tells us the number of groups that we're evenly sharing 42 into. So two is our divisor. That's gonna go on the outside of our division symbol. So here we have 42 divided by two. Let's start by sharing the biggest place value, which is the tens place in this number. We're gonna share these four rods evenly between the two groups. So we'll give each group one rod. Now we'll give another rod to each group. And now we can see there are no more rods to share. So we're done sharing the rods. We can see inside each group, there are two rods. So in the standard algorithm, we're gonna put two above the tenths place to show that each group is getting two rods. Now we can share the unit cubes. See, there are two unit cubes, which is represented by this two in the ones place. We're gonna share one unit cube between each group. Notice there are no more unit cubes to share, so we're done dividing. Each group has one unit cube. We're going to represent that here by writing a one in the ones place. So our quotient or our answer to the division problem is 21 because each group has two tens and one one or the number 21. Let's try another problem. Here we have 52 divided by two. What we're gonna do is draw five rods to represent 50 and two unit cubes to represent the two in the ones place. This is the number 52. We're gonna be dividing by two, so we need to draw two groups to share these base 10 blocks between. Let's also draw the standard algorithm so we can do it at the same time. Our dividend, 52, is gonna go on the inside since that's our starting number and our divisor two is gonna go on the outside. That's the number of groups we're sharing these base 10 blocks between. Let's go ahead and share the biggest place value, which is gonna be these rods. So we're gonna give each group one rod. Uh-oh, there's one rod left over. That's not enough to share evenly between these two groups. So we're gonna pause on the sharing for right now. Each group has two rods in it. So in the tens place, in our quotient, we're gonna write two, showing that each group is getting two rods. Now, what we're gonna do is subtract in a second to see how many rods are left. Well, what we're gonna do is see that we've used a total of one, two, three, four rods all together. So we're gonna be subtracting four because that's the total number of rods we've already shared. We also can get four by multiplying the two that's on top times the number of groups, our divisor, which is two. So two times two is four. That's another way we're getting the four here. When we subtract five minus four, we get one left over, which is represented by this one rod left over here. So we've already said that we cannot share this one rod evenly between these two groups. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrite this rod using unit cubes. Remember, one rod is the same as 10 unit cubes. So we just exchanged that one rod and re re rewrote it as 10 unit cubes. We now have a total of 12 unit cubes since there were two unit cubes already here. So we can represent that here in the standard algorithm by bringing down the next digit, which is the two. This shows that we have 12 unit cubes that we can evenly share. 
So let's go ahead and share those unit cubes between the two groups. We're going to give each group one unit cube at a time until we run out of unit cubes to share. Now we're done sharing all the unit cubes. In each group, we can see there are six unit cubes. So we can represent that by putting the six up here in the ones place in our quotient. Now let's see if there's any left over that we need to share. So we can say six times two is 12. So we are gonna be subtracting 12 because we shared a total of 12 unit cubes all together. We have six over here and six in this group. That's 12 unit cubes all together that we've shared. That's why we're subtracting 12. Two minus two is zero. One minus one is zero. So this shows that there are no unit cubes left over to share. And we can see that here, there's nothing left over. So since there's nothing left over, we're done dividing. Our answer or quotient is 26. That means each group is getting a total of 26 base 10 blocks, two tens and six ones. Now let's try 45 divided by three. First, let's represent 45 with the base 10 blocks. We have four tens and five unit cubes or five ones. We're dividing by three, so we have three groups here. Let's represent this in the standard algorithm by drawing the division symbol. The dividend or the starting number is gonna go on the inside, 45. And the divisor, which is the number we're dividing by, is gonna go on the outside, three. Let's go ahead and share these rods evenly between each group. So we were able to give each group one rod. There's one rod left over, but that's not enough to share evenly between three groups. So we're going to be done sharing for right now. Each group has one rod. So we're going to represent one up here at the top in our quotient, showing that each group has one rod. Let's subtract the total number of rods we've shared. We can see we've shared one, two, three rods, so we're going to be subtracting three. Another way to get three here without using the base 10 blocks is by multiplying one rod per group times three groups. One times three is three. So that's another way we can get the three that we're subtracting. Four minus three is one rod left over represented here. We've already said we can't share this one rod evenly between three groups, so we're going to rewrite this one rod as 10 unit cubes. So here are the 10 unit cubes that we just rewrote that rod as. We also had five unit cubes already. So we have a total of 15 unit cubes now. We can represent that here by bringing down the five and writing this as 15. This represents the 15 unit cubes. Let's go ahead and share these unit cubes evenly between each group. So we're gonna give each group one unit cube at a time until we don't have enough to share evenly anymore. We were able to share the unit cubes evenly between all the groups. So each group has five unit cubes. We're gonna write five up here showing that each group has five unit cubes. Now what we can do is subtract the total number of unit cubes we've used to figure out how many are left. Well, we used five here, plus another five here, that's 10, plus another five here is 15. So we are gonna be subtracting 15 because we've used 15 unit cubes. We can also get 15 by multiplying five times three to get 15. Now let's subtract to see how many unit cubes are left to share. 5 minus 5 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So our answer down here is 0. That means there's no more unit cubes left over. There's nothing left to share. So that means we're done dividing. Our quotient or answer is 15 because each group is representing the number 15, 1, 10, and 5, 1s. Let's try one more problem. Here we have 72 divided by 3. So we're gonna represent this with base 10 blocks with seven rods and two unit cubes. We're dividing this into three equal groups. So we're gonna draw three circles. We can also represent with the standard algorithm by placing 72 on the inside since that's our dividend and three on the outside since that's our divisor. 
let's go ahead and share these three these rods evenly between the three groups. We're going to give each group one more rod until there's not enough to share evenly. We can see there's only one rod left over. That's not enough to share evenly between three groups, so we're done sharing the rods for now. Each group has two rods in it, so we're going to place two up here in our quotient. Now what we're going to do is subtract the total number of rods we've used. We used one, two, three, four, five, six rods, so we're going to be subtracting six. Another way to get six is by multiplying two times three to get six. Now we can subtract seven minus six to get one left over. That's represented by this one rod here. There's not enough rods to share evenly between three groups, so we're gonna rewrite this rod as 10 unit cubes. So we have 10 unit cubes here and the two unit cubes we already had. So we have a total of 12 unit cubes to share. We can represent that here by bringing down the two and now we have the number 12. So this is saying that we're sharing 12 unit cubes. So what we're gonna do is give each group one unit cube at a time until we're out of unit cubes to share. We've evenly shared all the unit cubes. We can see that in each group, there are four unit cubes. So we're gonna place a four up here in our quotient in the ones place. We used a total of four, eight, 12 unit cubes. So we're gonna be subtracting 12. Another way to get 12 is by multiplying four times three to get 12. When we subtract, two minus two is zero and one minus one is zero. So that means the remainder is zero, which means there's no base 10 blocks left over. So our quotient or answer is 24, and we can see that represented in each group. There are two tens and four ones.